Well, welcome back, YouTubers. I hope you guys had a good Christmas. I did. Um, I went and visited my um, my sister and such, and also my mom. Um, looks like everybody's doing okay. Um, I hope um, you guys are having a good weather like I am here. Here in Utah, we have um, we had a little bit of snow on Christmas Day, but that was about it. Then the next day, it all melted away. So, <clears throat> continuing continuing on my. Um, Toro Snowblower S620. Um, I'm gonna, I have went ahead and I made all the gaskets for it, and I cleaned up the main part as best I could, and I and um, went ahead and I cleaned up the the crankshaft. Um, this crankshaft is in very good shape. There's no scores or anything like that, and still, you know, looks really good. Um, the piston. And the rod look in very good shape too. The piston have the piston has very little scoring or none at all. Just kind of like a little bit right here, but I don't think that really matters. And um, the rings are still free in here, so it looks really good. You know, I went and cleaned up all the sides and the top and everything a little bit. Had a lot of carbon on the top, but that was okay. No. One thing I want to show you guys here is that on these um, on these old um, Toro engines and everything, probably the newer Toro engines probably have the same thing and everything. Here we have, this would be kind of like your compression release. And this would be a very simple thing, just a basic piece of uh, a thing covering it. And when you go ahead and pull it, when you pull, over, pull it over and everything, it kind of like puts, uh, the pressure comes out here a little bit, comes out here. And that helps it to not to be so hard. And, and um, um, a lot of um, um, a lot of snow blowers and stuff, they have this type of compression release type of mechanism. You know, um, on on uh, lawnmowers and stuff like that, there's a compression release on that goes on the exhaust, so you don't have to. So it's not as hard to pull. And then what happens is that when it starts up and everything. This compression release and everything is still working, but there's so much compression and stuff in it that it doesn't. It does matter. Just a little bit is being taken off here, but there's plenty of plenty left in there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start. Now, what it is is that right here and everything, it takes off a couple of uh, bearings. It takes these straight, straight bearings here, and. Uh, the best way I found out, the best way I've ever found, done or thing, is to go ahead and take a little bit of of grease, like this, and just go ahead and just grease up the inside of where the bearings are going to go. Put it in it like that. So look here. This is the, you know, um, easiest way because the bearings need to stay in here. It also gets them a little bit of um, something so they're not so they don't have a, a dry start and they have a little bit of um, you know oil or grease or something to make them run better. I'm going to go ahead and just like that. Okay, so. What it is is that this screwdriver here, this flat screwdriver is slightly man magnetic. So I just very easily pick them up one at a time. And put them in there. There we go. Sometimes they don't want to go in there, but if you're patient, you could get it in there.
this way works really really good um, Oh, by the way, I forgot, um, I wanted to go ahead and say thank you to some of my subscribers and stuff. I want to say, um, let me go ahead and look it up real quick. Okay, I want to go ahead and say, um, I, I want to give a shout out to my subscriber, Navy Ranger. Thank you very much. Um, uh, this subscriber, I believe he hails from Scotland. Uh, Scotland, very beautiful country I might add and stuff someday. I'd like to go and visit there for my vacation, you know, or maybe move there. I don't know. But I believe in my heart that Scotland is a very beautiful country. I'd also like to go ahead and say um, thank you, Navy Ranger. Um, no, 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 excuse me. Uh, gravy, gravy Train, Gravy Train. I'd like to say thank you very much for your comments. Um, I did not take your comments with any um, disrespect or anything. Um, I, I enjoy or I, I like to have comments either good or bad. It all helps me, you know, to make better videos for you guys. So thank you very much for your comments. Also, I'd like to also thank Carl Bilderback. Um, he, uh, he made a comment that he has a part for my starter for this uh, machine. I'd like to say, I believe he wanted to... I believe he wanted to, you know, maybe give it to me or sell it to me or something like that. I like to say to Carl that thank you very much for your um, for your very kind offer and stuff. But um, I actually went ahead and bought a new one off of eBay for about eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars or so, and it came back and it just came by yesterday, or no, no, it came today, it came in today, so. I got a brand new one, so thank you very much, Carl, for your for your um, for your um, um, how do you say it? Um, for your kindness and stuff. Um, but uh, I just um, don't take this to heart and everything. But I just rather have a brand new one, you know. And this and they're very this is pretty cheap and everything, you know. And on these parts, I like to have them brand new on these plastic parts. Brand new is always the best. I don't like to have, but I do appreciate your uh, kindness and stuff. Okay, anyway, let's get back to doing this. So, go ahead and all the bearings are in here. They're in there now. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and attempt to put this guy in there and then I'll work on the crankshaft. There we go. I have to go ahead and spin it a couple times. Go ahead and spin the shaft a couple times to make sure that it has, um, you know, it feels like it's nice and smooth and stuff. You don't want any, um, you don't want any uh, dirt to enter in there or anything like that because you'll ruin it or any, um, like, I don't know, maybe pieces of metal or anything like that. And it feels like if it goes around really smooth or anything, then, then that, I think, you, I think that should be good. Um, Yeah, really nice and smooth there. And with that grease and everything, I'll go ahead and give it a good lubricant, so it won't so it won't fail fail when you first start it up, because it will need something to keep it going. But you know. Yeah, nice, very nice. Okay. Now this piston here comes in with the inner collar here. And on the inner collar and everything you have you'll have these um, needle bearings which were right right on there. So 
So you need to make sure you line these up really good. Now you'll see that there's like um, like an arrow here and the other part of the arrow. What that'll do is that those should correspond to the other side which has an arrow and a non-arrow part and just basically you would do it, so this little marker thing goes on either side. So this is the correct alignment for this guy. Put that back in like that. <clears throat> now, when you place your piston back in, let's see. There's a small mark here. And this mark should go towards uh, I think should be like this. But what you want to do is you want to put the rings, the, the openings of the rings. Put one right here and right here on either side. What they'll do is that they'll go ahead and uh, so you can go ahead and avoid so your rings don't get caught up in exhaust or, or whatever in there. So it'll be nice and come on. There we go. Oh, shoot. Okay. There we go. 